Today I'm going to do a review of orders on, of operation. Now you may recall back in the day when you were in elementary school that you may have covered it using PEMDAS. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally would be the acronym for that, which means parentheses first, then exponents, multiply or divide, then you add or subtract. Now I've noticed that some students get confused because the M and the D appear in 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 order and then an add and a subtract appear in a separate order and they think that you have to do multiply before divide add before subtract so what we're actually going to do is we're going to use gima instead you can use any acronym acronym you like granny eats mad apples would be one possible so i'm going to pem dust so we get that out of the way and we're going to use this so it's actually group exponent Multiply or divide, add or subtract. You group exponents, multiply or divide, add, sub. So when you have a multiply or divide or an add or subtract, you work from left to right, just as you read. So let's first take this very simple example. We have 8 plus 2 minus 4 plus 1. So we have only adding and subtracting, so we work from left to right. So 8 plus 2 is 10. 10 minus 4 is 6, 6 plus 1 is 7. Here we only have multiplying and dividing as well, so we're going to again work from left to right. 8 times 2 is 16, 16 divided by 4 is 4, 4 times 3 is 12. If I change it up a little bit, so now I have a 1 plus this multiply and dividing. So I'm going to again first work on the, multiplica the multiplication section and division parts of it before I add it, add that one to it because we have to do multiplying and dividing first and we work from left to right. So we again, we had 8 times 2 is 16, 16 divided by 4 is 4, 4 times 3 is 12 plus 1, so that equals 1 plus 12, 13. Now in this problem, we have a group here in yellow so normally you would have to do the multi multiplication first before you add but in this case we're going to use to do the group first or so evaluate the group first which is 5 plus 2 which gives me 7 then you multiply that by 2 and that gives me 14 if i were to modify it a little bit more we're still going to have to do our group first so we keep the 3 for now, plus, now we're going to solve the group, which is 5 plus 2, which gives me 7. The exponent remains, and we still have that times 2 at the end. Next thing we do is, we still keep our 3 plus. Now we're going to solve our exponent next, because e comes next. So 7 squared becomes 49, and then you still have that times 2. Okay. Then multiplication or division comes before addition or subtraction so we're going to do 49 times 2 so that leaves me with 3 49 times 2 gives me 98 now we can finally add or subtract from left to right so 3 plus 98 gives you 101 would be the process of solving by orders of operation now i've made this question nice and ugly so we can go over it together slowly However, I've color coded it so we can work it step by step. Remember, the first thing we want to do is look for groups. So look, there's a group here. Now there's more than one term or two terms in here. So we go to the next thing in our group to look at. In this case, we're going to look at the multiply or divide. So we're going to do this part first. So I'm going to keep the rest of the terms the same. So we have 4 minus 3 times 2 squared. Plus, we're still keeping the parentheses because we're not done yet. I'm going to leave my 1 in there, minus. Now, we're going to work this part first. So, 2 times 4 gives me 8. And square on the outside, all divided by 2. So, I didn't change anything in my expression except for that 2 times 4 in the group 8. So, I'm going to rewrite that. Now, we're going to work on our group still, which is... 1 minus 8. I'm going to keep everything else the same. So that gives me 
4 minus 3 times 2 squared plus, now notice I'm still keeping my parentheses in place because 1 minus 8 gives me negative 7, my parentheses, to the power of 2. Okay? It's very important to keep our parentheses in place because when we square this, our negative goes away. If you need a review on negative numbers, links down below to another, vid another video on negative numbers. Divide that by 2. Okay. So now we've taken care of everything in our group, which was in the parentheses. So we're going to deal with what's next, the exponents. So we're going to still again keep everything the same. So 4 minus 3, we're not dealing with that yet. Now I'll, we're going to look at the, the exponents. So 2 squared is 2 times 2. That gives me 4 and 7, negative 7 squared is negative 7 times negative 7, which gives me a positive 49. I'm going to change that to a pink because we're going to be adding that. And divide that by 2. Now we still have that multiply in there. So we're still going to keep our addition and subtraction terms in there. I'm going to leave it in pink. So 4 minus 3. Now... We're going to do 3 times 4, which actually gives us 12, plus 49, divide by, okay, I've run out of room, so let's bring this over to the other side. Now, this question can be completed in two ways. You can first add and subtract all the terms in the numerator before dividing it, or you can take each of the terms in the numerator, divide it by 2 before adding it. I'm going to do the latter because that way I can show you that we're going to be dividing before adding our final solution. So I'm going to separate out my divide by 2 amongst each of the terms. So I get 4 over 2 minus 12 over 2 plus 49 over equals. I'm going to change my color because we're going to end up adding, adding, and subtracting what we divided. So 4 divided by 2 is 2 minus 12 divided by 2 is 6, plus 49 divided by 2 is 24.5. Now we're just going to add and subtract from left to right. So we have 2 minus 6 gives me negative 4, plus 24.5, that equals 25. That's our final solution. If you like this video, please be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, please leave a, leave a comment down below. I also offer tutoring services online as well as sell notes, lessons, worksheets with full answer keys. Or if you'd like to support me, I have a Patreon account. All links down below. Thank you for joining me and I hope this lesson helped.